Hey everybody, welcome to 4C Sports Cards. My name is Pete. Uh, today I got a little mail for everybody. Uh, I heard uh, past week that uh, CSG was going to be raising their prices for their bulk submission from 12 bucks to 15 bucks. So I decided to grab me a few things, see if I can get a submission together. I just needed a few cards, tried to get my 50 limit. And I uh, just uh, got a few things from eBay here. Just wanted to uh, share it with everybody before I get that going. I uh, just wanted to get that in there to save me probably about 150 bucks on this uh, submission if I don't do it with the 12 bucks there. So let's uh, let's get going. Don't want to hold you up too long. Uh, most of this stuff I think is from eBay. I might have maybe one or so. I don't think I got anything from WhatNot, but I think it's mostly eBay stuff. I might have something in here. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, I've been so busy the past uh, past few weeks doing the honey do list. Haven't had much time to concentrate on cards, but I did overhear somebody talking about CSG raising those prices, and I just wanted to get that going real quick. Right. I'm surprised they're actually raising their prices. You would think everyone's going down with their prices. These guys are going up, so uh, not really understanding that too much. All right, looks like we got a uh, Kyrie Irving Revolution card. Whoop, that is from the 2021-22. This is uh, number 27 out of 99. Got a Nico Collins auto patch. That is 42 out of 299 from 2021 Panini Phoenix. Also heard that BPS has got their... Uh, they got a uh, better pricing on their lower end stuff. Not 100% sure what their prices were, but uh, we got to check them out, see if they're getting reasonable with their stuff. I think it's 25 for uh, without subgrades and 35 with subgrades. All right, this we got a uh, Victor Robles 26 out of 99 auto patch. This is out of the 2020, uh, 2020 tops. Gavin Lux. This is a Topps Chrome. Gavin Lux. Rookie card. 2020. This woman's got me uh, running around doing all kinds of stuff. Just been so busy. Stuff around the house. All kinds of Stuff I've been neglecting for a while. It looks like we got another Gavin Lux. This one is Don Russ. It's also 2020 Panini. The Rookies. Looks okay. Hopefully, uh, we can get something gradable. Looks like we like a slab on this one. Lab. Oh yeah, this is a 2019 Pete Alonzo, pristine 10. Got a 10 on centering, 10 on edges, 9.5 on corners, 10 on the surface. And it had a pretty good price on it, I think it was like 25 bucks. So I figured, yeah, why not? It's a pristine card. Can't beat that. Yeah, it's been kind of getting kind of tough trying to find some stuff to send out. I've been going through a lot of my stuff here, and it doesn't seem like I got anything that's going to get anything nine or better. A lot of cards I'm finding a lot of flaws with, especially these Prism cards. I'm finding a lot of bad print lines in all these cards. They're just they're just a just a bad setup on these cards. I really I'm not a fan of them too much. Here, looks like we got a Edo Smith auto patch. A lot of the origins. 
This is out of the 2018. Don't look like it's numbered. But no, no number on that. Here. All right, first one is uh, 14 out of 25. Leaf Trinity. This is uh, Jonathan Crawford on card auto. Cool looking patch. Uh, 2013. Nice looking patch there. Got a, uh, also leave Trinity, uh, Kyle Crick, 3 out of 10. Nothing high end, but the patches look cool. I like my patches. It's a, it's a non-card auto with a nice cool patch. We got National Treasures Colossal Rookie Auto, 5 out of 11. This is uh, Corey Spangenberg. Nice patch on that one also, on card. Card Auto, 5 of 11, and that's out of the 2015 Panini. A very cool looking patch. Got a Dalton Pompey, 44 out of 49. Free color patch, National Treasures, 2015. I just like to look how the patches look. Alright, what we got inside this guy here? First one, Steph Curry. Got a uh, select that's out of the 2021. Steph Curry. I got reflection. Sorry, guys. That looks like some kind of a uh, cracked dice, three color cracked dice. Steph and Curry's pretty cool. I think the top load is worth more than the card, but it's a cool looking card. Hopefully, it's uh, gradable. You know, you guys know how Steph Curry's been kicking some butt. Pretty cool card. Got it. And the LeBron James. I see this around a lot. I just I like I just like the picture. This is a really nice, uh, nice, just nice shot of it. Doesn't look like it's perfectly centered, but that should be good for uh, for the PC. I'm not gonna probably I won't probably won't get that graded. It just it looks like it's way off center. It's a cool pose. I've seen them around a lot. I also got these little new stands here, nifty little Chinese stands. They're actually better than these bigger ones. They don't tip over, but they're a little shorter, but they're cool. Got them really cheap. Took forever to get back up from China, but they were cool. All right, also got a Mickey Mantle reprint refractor. What year is this one? This is a 20... 2006 tops the blue refractor i just thought it was cool i can't afford a real thing but this is a nice looking card i might be able to get this thing slabbed or just maybe just keep it in this top loader very cool card yeah i like that one a lot other than that's about it for uh, for this week sorry guys i haven't been uh, on the ball posting enough stuff just been so busy uh, i'm trying to get some more cards once i get the uh I might finalize my 50 cards. I'll, I'll post a video, pre, uh, pre-sub kind of thing. And hopefully I got something that's at least 50 cards or nine or better. I'm pushing for nine or better. I, I don't think I can get all tens on what I got. Just uh, kind of getting limited on my low end uh, stuff for CSG. Get them out of the way before the price goes up. And then uh, try to get some uh, SGC stuff going. I got a few things I want to send out to SGC. And... Uh, I'm hoping that I can get that uh, taken care of quick. Well, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for uh, for coming in. Subscribers are awesome again. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing that for me. And I'll, I'll try to catch up on you quick as I can. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.